Hi friends, welcome to Learning Lab. Today we're going to talk about fresh water and salt water and which one allows things to float. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, but let me tell you about salt water. Salt water is what we find in the ocean water. That means there's a lot more salt in that water that allows things to maybe float a little bit better or maybe not. I'm not sure. That's what we're going to find out today. I'm excited. So Miss McKenzie has a couple of materials. I have a big bucket of salt water and a small cup of salt water. And I have fresh water too. Fresh water is the type of water that you find in ponds, rivers, but not in the ocean. The ocean has salt water. Today we're gonna to do an experiment. That experiment is we're gonna find out which objects float and which objects sink. And does it make a difference Is it if it's in salt water or if it's in fresh water. But first, I want you guys to put on your heavy thinking cap. Do you think that the objects are going to float in salt water or fresh water? Let's make a prediction. What's going to happen? Hmm. I think that it's going to float in the fresh water. What do you think? Okay, let's find out. Miss McKenzie has three of her favorite toys. I mean, two of her favorite toys and one of her favorite breakfasts. She has an egg. She has her favorite strawberry shortcake, but we're only going to use her hat to see if her hat can float. And then she has her favorite strawberry shortcake car. I want you to lock in your prediction because then we're going to write down if it floats, and that starts with an F, floats, or if it sinks in salt water or the fresh water. Are you ready? All right, let's see. I'm going to start out with my little friend's hat. First, I'm going to put it in the salt water. So let's see what happens when I put it inside of the salt water. Is it sinking or is it floating? Remember, if something is floating, that means it's on top of the water. If it's sinking, it's all the way at the bottom. Is it sinking or is it floating? You are correct. In the salt water, it is Floating. So Miss McKenzie's going to go ahead and put an F, straight line down, a hat, and then a little nose. And it is floating. <gasps> Let's see what happens when it's in the fresh water. Let's take it out. I'm going to dry it off. Oh my goodness. It went all the way down to the bottom. <gasps> does that mean it's floated or does that mean it's sink? I know when it sinks, it goes all the way down because it's really heavy. <gasps> so it sinks in the fresh water. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a different color marker. I'm going to use a black one. I'm going to write the letter S. Sink for my little buddy's hat. Let's try another one. Are you guys ready? I'm going to take this out. <gasps> Ooh, that water is a little hot. And I'm going to put it down right back on strawberry shortcake. And we are going to try the egg. Now what do you think is going to happen to the egg? Do you think it's going to sink or float in the salt water? Do you think it's going to sink or float in the fresh water? Hmm. I think it's going to float in the fresh water and it's going to sink in the salt water. Let's find out! because it's at the top of my cup. Let's see what happens in this one. Ooh, ooh. Took it out. Let's get some of that salt off. Let's gonna go over here. Let's see if it floats. Oh, I think it's gonna float because this was my prediction. <gasps> it looks like my prediction was wrong. It's all the way at the bottom. Oh my goodness, so that means my prediction 
description it was wrong, but that is a little deal. It sunk all the way to the bottom. I didn't expect it, but it's super cool that it did it. Let me give my check. What do you think? So it floated in the salt water, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my F for float. And then what happened when it went in the fresh water? Did it float? No, it went all the way to the bottom. It sank. Object. This is my strawberry shortcake car. I had it when I was very small. So now I wanna see, is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? Is it gonna sink or float in the salt water? Or is it gonna sink or float in the fresh water? Let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna try this one first. What do you think is gonna happen? Let's make a prediction. Oh, I think it's gonna float in the fresh water. I know I was wrong the last time, but I have faith in this big bowl. Let's see. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Oh my goodness, it's going down so slow but it's still sinking and it sunk all the way to the bottom. Oh my gosh. It looks like that prediction was wrong too, but it's a little deal. I wonder what's gonna happen over here. Hmm, let me get it out. This is a big bowl. Took it out. Okay. Let's see. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna sink or do you think it's gonna float? Hmm, let's see. Oh my goodness, it stayed at the top. It's floating. So I'm gonna put my marks down. It floated in salt water and it sunk when I put it in the fresh water. Oh, oh my goodness. It looks like all of the one that was in salt water floated, but all of the one that was in the fresh water sunk. I wonder why. I read a long, long time ago that salt adds density to the water and it makes it a lot heavier. So things come right back up to the top and they allow it to float. So if you make your own salt water and you put just enough salt in it, a lot of your toys will also float. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this experiment. Send your teachers some pictures. And I love seeing you guys today for Learning Lab. See you later.